Hey everybody, Ryan Nelson here, and today I wanna to show you how to do something pretty fun in Photoshop right after this. Okay, so the full moon is coming up in a couple of days, so I wanted to show you guys how to take a picture of a full moon by itself and drop that into a landscape shot and make that moon big. So it's like unnaturally big. It looks kind of cool if it's done right. But first, we need a change of venue. Next. Nope. Close. Not yet. We're almost there. Yeah, I think this'll do. It's kind of windy out here, but the idea is I'm gonna go over here, up there on one of these little, about halfway up. I'm gonna shoot west towards the sunset. I'm gonna get the, the rocks kind of backlit. Uh, it's sandstone, so that, that color is gonna pop like crazy once I get up there. Um, but right after sunset, it's gonna be a little bit backlit, uh, but the color is really gonna pop. And then after that, the moon is gonna rise behind me, so I'm gonna take my long lens. I'm going to get a shot of the moon as it's coming up. I'm gonna start shooting the moon just before it starts getting dark, you know, in that blue hour. So you're not just on a black sky with a bright moon. So I'm gonna get it, you know, as the sun's coming up while it's still kind of blue in the sky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that moon and uh, drop it behind the, where the sun just set and make it look like it's just this big, massive moon uh, right behind, just kind of giving this beautiful light coming onto the sandstone. So let's head up there and see how that's gonna look. Okay, check out this sunset. It's about the perfect time to get in shooting and I'm just trying to set up this little vlogging camera. But I should be over here shooting my cameras because I've got one here, we got one over there. I just found my GoPro, it's sitting in my pocket. It's a beautiful sound. Beep, 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 beep. Sun's almost down. I kind of feel like this is a game right now. Let's see how many cameras Ryan can use at one time. I've got one back there. Got this guy right here, which I didn't mean to touch. Got a GoPro right here in my hand. And I have my little camera. It's four, not bad. Man, look at that sunset. Okay, that's the sound of the GoPro. Also, how cool is this little clip? Not, it's not really a clip. It's a little bracket that I made for this little GA7X to put my little Aperture M9 on. Check it out, how cool is this? It's just a little piece of aluminum with a couple quarter 20 taps in it. Look at these colors. That is so nice. It's fake. It's that little portable battery powered aperture, the big one, not the little one. All right, so the sun's down. The moon should be coming up shortly, but I gotta climb up here and see. There it is. It's behind some clouds right now, but I will have to wait a few minutes, grab my 200 millimeter and come up and shoot that. All right, I'm coming down to a dilemma. The moon's getting to about the point where I want to shoot it, but I have a camera here, and I have a camera over there, and those are my only two camera bodies. I don't know which one to take. Uh, 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 I don't know. Which one? Which one? I took the one on the Gorilla Pod. Okay, now I'm just having fun. Okay, well today was a long day. I am exhausted. I don't know if you can see the shadows under my eyes. It's probably mostly just this light. You wanna shoot the moon early. You don't wanna wait until now to like dead at night to start shooting that full moon. You wanna have a little bit uh, a little bit of blue around it. Maybe you can blend that 
into the blue sky because um, if you wait to that blue hour that sky looks really nice and then that's the same time you want to shoot the moon so I don't know plan your shots accordingly maybe go shoot the moon one night you can shoot the moon from anywhere you shoot the moon from your house so shoot the moon from your house the moon's the moon shoot the moon two years ago you got a good moon shot you're already ahead of the game all right so I'm gonna go get some sleep I'm gonna wake up in the morning drive back to the studio so I can show you guys how to put this whole thing together in Photoshop and make it look awesome hey all right now we're back in studio well actually just in my living room, but this will do for now. By the way, do you guys like this thing? The camera's too far away, so I can't do the I can't do the hand thing, so I made this little black card on a stick. So once you get back to your computer, you want to take all your photos and process them through whatever raw processing software that you like the most. Capture One, Lightroom, etc. What do you guys like? What do you guys use? I'm, I'm kind of torn at the moment. I'm still, I'm back and forth between Capture One and Lightroom. Take those files, open them up into Photoshop. So first thing you do when you open up your moonshot in Photoshop is create a copy of your background layer. It's a good practice, do this for everything you work on. Hit M on your keyboard, take your marquee tool and select out the moon, image, crop. So now we just have the moon with some sky. All right, next thing you wanna do is select a little bit of sky. Go up to select and hit similar. And this will select pretty much all of the sky. Next thing you wanna do is go up to select, modify, expand, and expand this by about two pixels. If you look here, it crops into the moon a little bit and that's okay, that's actually better. So from here, you wanna have your marquee tool selected, right click, select inverse, and then click your layer mask. There's our moon on a transparent background. That was easy. Okay, so now we have our moon. Let's go to our other shot. Select V on your keyboard, and then drag that moon onto your next shot. If you look at this, clearly it's not that big in the shot. It looks kind of cool back there, but we want to make this thing huge, just huge. You're like, how, how is the moon that big in the shot? This is crazy. All right, from here you want to Command T, hit shift and drag out one of those edges till that moon is just ridiculously huge. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too big. So let's bring that down a little bit. And get that size right about to where you want it. You like it, it looks kind of cool. So hit enter. Now clearly we have some masking to do. This is the easy part. Just make sure you are on your layer mask and hit B for your brush. Then you're just gonna dry out that moon. Do, 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 do. Hit X to get your white back. He's gonna draw that moon right back in there. It's a little bit time consuming, but just get into the details. It's taking five minutes most to get this really nailed in. Once you've got that pretty nailed down, you wanna zoom out and give it a good look. This looks ridiculous. It absolutely looks ridiculous. The moon never looks that big, but it's just missing a little something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and give it a filter render lens flare. Let's give it some lens flare. Why not? And what I like to do when I do layer mask or overlays or things like that, just go, go beyond what you think looks good because you can come back here to your layers. You can always bring that opacity down a little bit and really, really fine tune it. Cause sometimes it's really hard to see on that little, little thumbnail preview what you actually want to do. So, I mean, this looks pretty cool right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And then if there's some spots in here, just, you know, layer mask once again. Hit D to get your colors back, X to select your black, B to select your brush tool. And that's a little much, so I'm gonna hit two to go 20% opacity. Just to bring that down just a little bit, right where I want my colors to pop a little bit more, so. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop there. You guys can add any features, anything else that you like to it. Uh, throw some birds in the sky, throw some clouds back there. Do whatever you want to it. I mean, this is an absolutely ridiculous photo to begin with, so just have fun with it. I hope this helps you out. I hope you guys enjoy this. Get out, do what you love to do. And if you like this video, do me a big favor. It helps, hit that thumbs up button down there. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I have to come clean about something.
This is where I meant to end up yesterday, and I took a wrong turn and ended up at the other spot. Still cool, but not this cool.